Hey plant friends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a chatty repop video. Um, but before we get started, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on this video. It's a free way to help me out. Um, so today we are going to be repotting this gorgeous Monstera Adansonii. Look at that, you guys. Wow. So I actually already have a Monster at Insonii, but um, I went plant shopping with my boyfriend on Sunday. We kind of do this every time we hang out. We visit our local favorite nursery. I'll go ahead and tag them below. Guys, they have the most lit plants here in the greater Sacramento area. And they also have gorgeous cactus specimens, which is why we go there, because um, my boyfriend is a huge cactus collector. And I love houseplants, and they always have a very great selection. They have rare stuff there. That's actually where I bought my Hoya um, variegated, the Hindu rope. Um, so they do have some great, great stuff there. So I'm gonna go ahead and link them below on this YouTube video. Um, but yeah, I do have a Monster at Sony. I, I just have the more narrow leaf version, and this one is the more wider version, as you can tell right here. And it's almost kind of a little bit like heart-shaped, right? And I just love how big the leaves are on this guy and kind of how heart-shaped the leaves are, so I had to get it. Like, I couldn't pass it up. Um, but in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and chat just bit what's been going on with my life and Yeah, and you guys comment below I would love to chat with you guys and know what's been going on in your guys's lives We can talk about plants or any life stuff that has been happening So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and I will link my repotting video below and all the products that I use in this video but first Let's go ahead and get this guy out of his home. So, a lot of change has been going on in my, oh my God, sorry. Before I get started with telling you what's going on in my life, let's take a look at these roots. Holy crap. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. Honestly, Monstera roots always freak me out. They are like the fastest growing roots. These are just such great plants. Like if you're a beginner plant person, I would definitely recommend this plant. Um, it just loves a lot of bright and direct sunlight, but it grows like a weed. It is so satisfying and a very instant gratification plant, you guys. And they're gorgeous. Monstera Deliciosa or Monstera Adansonii, which is this guy, I would highly recommend to any plant person um, if you love holy plants. Um, but wow, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little distracted with these gorgeous roots. But yeah, what's been going on in my life, you guys? Um, so many of you may know or not know, but um, I'm actually in PA school and um, we just finished up our one year of didactic and we are about to go into our rotations. And I actually start my rotations in urgent care um, next Monday, which I'm pretty nervous about. Um, you know, it's just like something new and I'm actually going to be practicing medicine, which is pretty cool and I'm excited for it, but at the same time, I'm nervous. Um, you know, it's just something different. So, you know, I think when things are new and different, you get a little nervous. But yeah, that's kind of like the biggest thing that has been going on in my life right now. Um, and thankfully my rotation isn't too far. It's about 20 minutes from where I'm at. So I'll just be, it'll be like a morning commute of about 20 minutes. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, and I'm excited to learn a lot about medicine. Um, but yeah, uh, that's kind of what's been going on and just kind of also dedicating a lot of my time um, to the plant community and growing this plant YouTube channel. Um, I feel like plants have been like a huge outlet for me this year, just with like the stress of PA school and everything that's been going on in the world. I feel like they are such a wonderful escape um, from what's going on around the world and just in your personal life. 
Like, for example, whenever I'm with my plants, um, watering them, repotting them, I don't think about anything else, you guys, except about how gorgeous this freaking plant is and how amazing the roots are, you guys. Like, wow. Like, that's all I think about when I repot, and it's so, like, therapeutic for me. It's so relaxing. Um, that's why I just love houseplants, um, and I don't ever see myself not loving them and keep buying more. Honestly, that's like a really hard thing. How do you guys do with self-control going to nurseries and not buying anything? It's pretty difficult for me. Honestly, even like, I won't rebuy the same houseplant because every houseplant is so unique. You guys, like I already have a monster at Edinsonii, but this one, I don't have the wide form version and this one was just so gorgeous that I couldn't pass it up. Like I saw it instantly, I was like, okay, you're coming home with me. Like it's like, I don't even doubt it, you know? Um, so yeah, I need to practice a little bit more self-control, but then sometimes I'm like, but this is my outlet. Why do I need to self-control my houseplant addiction? I don't, how do you guys feel about that? <laughs> Am I crazy or are you crazy with me? Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what's been going on with my life. Um, just balancing school and life in general and like everything that's been going on during this time but to be honest like although like the world is pretty like stressful and there's crazy things going on honestly 2020 has been like a pretty good year for me um just because i really dove into my houseplant addiction and i spent a lot of time with myself and just working on my mental health and like my personal goals and my physical goals i feel like i was able to get a really good like school and life balance as crazy as that sounds it was also a good time to like reflect on what i really wanted out in life um so i'm kind of honestly grateful for this time that we had in quarantine because i was able to really like think about the things that i wanted to achieve in life and you know what really sparks my interest and like you know just things that I want to achieve in life um, that really helped me out a lot and I think it's a time that I needed and I'm sure it's a time a lot of you guys needed as well you know just to slow down and like reevaluate like what are the things that you want in life and what really makes you happy in this world um, but yeah, I <laughs> don't want to get too serious on this video. Uh, but okay, guys, I pretty much did most of, I undid most of the root ball. And I think that's as deep as I'm going to go with undoing the root ball. I don't want to do too much damage to the plant. But as you can see, I took out a lot of the old dirt. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, fill up this cute terracotta pot into um fill this cute terracotta pot with some soil so again you guys i am using my tried and true um cactus soil so i go back and forth between the eb stone organics um cactus and succulent soil i have found that one that is a lot more airy and a lot more um dries a lot quicker um versus the home depot like the big box store and um, cactus and succulent soil dries a lot slower just because it's not as airy like this soil that I'm using is the Home Depot one it doesn't have pumice or lava rock um, but it does have perlite and bark in there so it's still very airy um, so yeah I just kind of go back and forth um, between those two I will say that the Home Depot one is um, a lot more affordable I got a pretty big bag I think for like seven dollars and forty seven cents which is like such a good price um, but yeah, so I go back and forth between those two. So again, I'm going to use my Osmo Coat um, fertilizer and just do a couple of balls of that. You guys, there's a measurement for this stuff, but I just, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. I would use the measurement tool just because you don't want to over, over fertilize. 
Um, especially if you're new to house plants, like I would, I, I used to like use the little tool that came with it. It's like a little like tablespoon that tells you how much you're putting in for the amount of soil or the size of the pot. But at this point, I've done it so many times that I kind of have an idea of how much is good enough and how much is not. Is too much. Ooh, so that is perfect there for my monstera. Wow, you guys, look at that. It looks so cute. I love repotting my house plants just because I'm like so excited um, to get them into their home. Okay, so I put them in here and now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill the soil around. But yeah, guys, so we were kind of talking about like the times that we're in right now and like the stresses of the world. I would love to hear like what hobbies you guys have picked up during this pandemic and how you guys have been like coping with it. You know, I think the way I've been coping with it is just really focusing on like where my life is taking me and the goals that I want to achieve. Um, and also picking up just new hobbies and trying different workouts like because the gyms have been closed um, I've been doing a lot of like high intensity home workouts, which honestly kick your butt like I totally underestimated them But my whole life I felt like they weren't real workouts if I wasn't like lifting super heavy, but they totally are um, They're very intense in a different way um so yeah, I've been doing that a lot, but thankfully recently on October 1st, um, the gyms actually opened up. So I've been able to go back and I've kind of been incorporating the high intensity workouts um, into um, my workouts at the gym. So instead of like me doing like sets and then like resting for 30 seconds, I honestly just do an AMRAP. I do like five or six workouts. I do like an AMRAP for like 25 minutes and I just keep going until those 25 minutes are up, which I love that type of workout. I feel like so athletic. I feel like my heart's just, you know, bumping out of my chest the whole time. It's, it's kind of awkward, but I, I love that feeling because um, I feel like I'm really like working out, you know? versus the previous workouts that I would do. Um, it's very like set based. I would do like, uh, I would do like three sets with 12 reps and I would rest for 30 seconds in between each of them. And then I would move on to the next workout, which is good too. Like that's really a good way to build muscle and everything. But um, I feel like because of this whole COVID situation, I've had to get creative with my workouts. So I found a new way that I absolutely love and honestly that's just what I needed is like discovering um, something new that I love, you know, and I feel like now the gym is more exciting and working out is much more exciting. I've also been running a lot more, um, for example, like this last year um, before I started PA school, I was like running one mile a day. That was kind of like my warm up before my gym workouts. But now I've been running six miles, you guys. That is my long day. Like that's insane. Like never, like since I was like 18, I have not run like six miles nonstop. That's, that's crazy to me. Like I'm like, what? I can still do that? Like that is amazing. Um, so yeah, you guys, and I don't go fast by any means. I'm like a so slow poke, but hey, whatever, I get it done. Whatever pace you need to go at to get it done, that's all that matters. You did the six miles. You don't need to go super fast. And it's hard to go super fast, you know, when you're doing that much mileage. But my goal someday is to do a half marathon. Um, I feel like it's totally doable, so hopefully, once um, things get better, I'll definitely sign myself up for a half marathon race, which is something I'm pretty interested in. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what my life has consisted of right now. It's just like a lot of self-evaluation and evaluating my life goals and what I really want out of life, which I really needed that self-reflection, you know? And also gearing up for rotations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited and nervous, but you know, I love to heal people and I love to heal plants as well. So I guess I'm a healer in a way.
Pekka Corny, you guys. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna cut that out of this video. I don't know, who knows? We'll see. Okay, so this guy is pretty much done filling the soil. I just made sure that I got soil in every area. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a couple good taps on the side, have the soil settle in. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some insecticide around the corners of it. Again, this thing, um, there are measurements on the instruction label, but at this point, I've done it so many times, I kinda have, I kinda eyeball it now because I have an idea of how much I need. Um, so I just, yeah, I just eyeball it. So I just put it in the soil. Kind of make sure I get everywhere in the pot so all the roots can get it. And if there were anything that the plant was carrying, it's gonna take care of that before I go ahead and introduce it and put it next to my other plants. So this guy has actually been in a quarantine as of right now. Um, just because he's new, I haven't repotted him and I haven't had a chance to treat him. I don't wanna put him next to all my other guys. Just because you never know if there's something that they could be carrying. And I'm just gonna mix um, the systemic insecticide with this little pick. So you just wanna make sure you mix it into like the first one to two inches of the soil. And then when you water it, um, the systemic granules will dissolve and um, the roots will actually soak it up. And then if there's anything bad, any pests, um, this stuff will kill it. And I love this insecticide. I feel like I haven't had any major pest issues so far because I do this. Um, with every single plant that I get, but I do have to retreat all my plants because it only lasts about six to eight weeks. So I have to retreat a lot of my plants um, before winter comes up right now. Um, so you have to do that soon. So yeah, guys, that's my Monstera Adansonii that I repotted. Look at how gorgeous it is in its new pot. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good watering, wait another day or two until the systemic insecticide gets in there, and then I'll go ahead and put it next to all of the other plants. But thanks for tuning in, you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.